Okay guys, so I am so excited. Two months ago, you saw the edge, and now we've got two weeks to go before we open. Just check out how amazing this place is. I'm gonna turn the camera around, and I've got a very special guest today. Guy who's been on this thing for three and a half years. The chief architect, Hubert Sech. Hub, welcome to Morning, this morning's Gav. little show, man. Yeah, no. Morning, thank you very much. So guys, I'm gonna flick, flick the camera. Actually, I'll just ask, I've got two questions I wanna ask Hubert before we rush through this thing. The first question is what has been the most challenging thing about this project for you? And the second, what has been the best thing about the project for you? Yeah, the, the game, there have been a number of items that have been a challenge, but all of them have been a nice uh, challenge. The uh, first one was to get around the various environmental requirements and to combine that with uh, the neighbors island and 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 their views and then to then to build a health care building on a very small yet beautiful site so yeah it's been a great project all around eh? so uh, it's just amazing what you i'm going to show you guys now we're going to flip the camera around and uh, you'll see just um, how amazing this uh, building has become so we are on the edge of the valley just check this out all this is the views i'm going to show you now as we run up there and have a look so it's been amazing amount of work in the last two months uh, Hugh, why don't you walk us in all right you will see the final leveling has been done and the, the landscaping do, should uh do commence into the morning and then we should be finished by the next week wednesday the shading louvers the privacy screens up at the top give it a nice a natural edge and obviously links it to a nature that's the your coffee corner where we hope the doctors and nursing staff will have a cup of coffee in the morning it's so lucky check at this guys you have no idea what's coming in in the next two weeks over here little reception area so now for the patients who are going to come and see me we're going to go upstairs just now but let's just run in this way and see what the wards are looking like the reception area and here we go so you've got for it tell us a little bit about these wards right. we have our first the general ward and all of the wards they have been orientated to enjoy the views uh, when you arrived we made the, uh, the arrival a point warm a lot of morning light to ensure that uh, the patient arrives in a pleasant oh look who we've got here the one and only Alex Cooks, our hospital manager. Alex, welcome. Catching me with my car. You're on live. Instagram live now, eh? Which room are you finding yourself in? The dolphin room. So this is a dolphin room, guys. It's one of the two private wards we have. Let's have a look at the, the doors unlocked. It's probably locked for work for the night shift. Let's carry on walking through here and we'll show you. There's another private ward over here. Each ward is its own branding. We won't go into that now. You can see all the equipment's arriving. Flat out here. This is a beautiful ward. Here's our bigger ward, mostly pediatric. And uh, the staff are rolling in. We had 938 applicants, of which we chose 26. Hello, ladies. Here we go. This is staff tea room behind there. Um, and here are our two theatres. So we're getting all our equipment is rolling in here. This is the... Uh, an aesthetic backup machine. Two theatres. Theatre number one is the orthopedics theatre. Laminar flow up at the top. How's that? Laminar flow. The works. All the little C arms. How's it? What are you busy with here? Eh? Uh, setting up the printer for the anaesthetic machine. Here's the anaesthetic machine. Eh? Top of the range. Let's walk out to the other theatre. So our recess trolleys. This is the scrub area. Over here we're coming in. Hello guys, nice to see you guys. This is our theatre. We're going to be having five video cameras to be able to broadcast and film live surgeries. And uh, Cube, let's dash upstairs quickly. Yeah, so just carrying on the conversation, the stuff you've enjoyed the most about the project, eh? other things. No, well, the guys have really worked well as a team from yeah. the Masons, from the time we, uh, we came out of the ground to all of the uh, professionals. There's really been a lovely, fierce and a spirit of 
cooperation. Yeah. And uh, to become out of the ground on a sloping. Just talk to me about how fancy these things are, eh? Hey? Yeah, this would be a good doctor bought on a farm. So we thought we would use it in the, the hospital. And so because these walls are made out of, of concrete, we weren't able to chase in. So we lined the handrail with an LED. Ah, very fancy. I want to see also with the LED handrail, eh? Where else can you see that? And guys, now welcome to where the reception area is for the practice. So for those of you coming to see, here we go. So this is where the ladies will be. Um, come around here. The cone beam CT scan is coming into this room next week. And this is going to be my consulting office. Uh, the microscope's coming in. The chairs are coming in. Um, and then I think one of, so one of the nicest thing about this is I want to show you is uh, the reception area for the patients who are going to be waiting upstairs. And that is right here. So it's all boxed in at the moment. You've got to be safe. Um, but let me, as the last little thing, walk out onto the balcony and we'll end the video on the balcony with this amazing view of Edge Day Hospital. So friends, we're looking forward to having you all here operating. We'll be, have, we've got gynae, orthopedics, plastic surgery, ENT, maxillofacial, dentistry, pain specialists, the works. So yeah, I'll turn the camera around. So you, that's us, eh? Well, Karen, thank you very much and good luck to you and to the doctors. We hope you'll be happy. Yeah, great guys. Okay, see you in a few weeks time when we open this place.